All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Stephen Dunn with Core Therapy and Pilates, and I got my girl Reese here hanging out with me. It's cold here in Austin, Texas today, and uh, I want to come on today and do a video. I just watched my uh, business coach Greg Todd's video, and uh, he got me pretty excited and and, and pumped. And uh, what I was going to talk about today is going to get talked about another day. And so what he talked about was choices and consequences. And so I'm going to go ahead and run with that because it was pretty awesome, the, the, the conversation that he just had. So with that said, uh, if anyone needs some um, help with their business and they want to learn more about Greg Todd's world, um, reach out to me and ask some questions. Uh, I am a coach in his um, group. I, I'm a, what's called an ambassador for his group. So I coach people in his, um, in his courses. So if you have any questions about that, reach out and I can give you some information about his course. Again, Greg Todd's been a, a great, great uh, influence on, on my business and everything I've been doing for the last couple of years. So with that said, I want to talk about choices. Um, for me, I've been out of PT school for a long time. I've been out since 97. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 98. And I made the choice out of school to travel. And I made that choice because I didn't know really where I wanted to live and where I wanted to, uh, to kind of settle in. Uh, I'm from South Louisiana, just outside of New Orleans, and I, I didn't really want to stay there for the moment. I wanted to see, see, see what there was to offer. Uh, so my choice was to leave, and the consequences of that was that I left, and I wasn't around my family. I wasn't directly close to the people that I had, my friends, my family, the people that were important to me. Hey guys, thanks for hopping on. I appreciate it. If you got any comments, put them below. I'm not sure if I'll see them or not, but go ahead and certainly put them down there. Um, so anyway, um, and three, ten weeks later, the travel, um, the, the market the market crashed with the, the, the Medicare caps and the changes that happened in 98, the fall of 98. So I was home for eight months without a job. And then I got an opportunity to go to work in LA, Los Angeles. And I made a choice to move to Los Angeles to work in a clinic that, where I was seeing three people an hour and I was making very little money. And so I was really making about six or $7 a patient, uh, uh, per hour, uh, we'll say that it was it was very little money and in a very expensive city, and this was after the crunch and an HMO setting that I just wasn't familiar with. But that was a choice that I made because I didn't have any other job offers. It was something I had to do at the time. And then there was a situation where I was done with that after two years, and I took another job. And I took a, I made a choice to take another job for five dollars more an hour. So I went from twenty bucks an hour to to twenty five bucks an hour. And this was a job in Koreatown, downtown LA, where I was actually seeing 50 people a day. And it was a workers' comp clinic. And I made the choice for $5 extra, but I ended up seeing so many more people a day, having so much more work to do a day. And it was really like the ultimate burnout place. But I also made a choice with working there. I made a choice to ride the subway. And by making that choice to ride the subway, I spent a dollar and a quarter or something like that each way to get to work instead of sitting in traffic and driving. Took about the same amount of time. But what I did is I made a choice to read books in that time. And I read three or four books. And I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And that was the book that changed everything. That was the first one. And I opened my business about a month later. And I made a choice to continue to work at that place for just enough time to open my business, set up my business. That boss started paying me uh, as a 1099 with some extra income. So I, I, re I started putting some money into my business right away, th uh, 40 hours a week. Um, and all of a sudden, I made a choice to leave and go do it on my own and say, all right, I can't do this. It was an unethical place. That's a totally different story. Um, and I was completely burned out. So I made a choice to leave and do it all on my own. And I needed to go find some contracts. I needed to go find some places to work. I had my business set up, but I did not have any work. So I found some places to work and I was working uh, at a studio, at a um, clinic in Burbank that had like 15 studios, 15 clinics. And I was like their registry guy. They call me at seven in the morning and say, hey, go to this clinic. Hey, go to that clinic. Hey, go to this clinic. And by me making a choice to work like that, I actually made money because I was making no money forever. And this was the first time I was actually making some money. I was making, you know, 80 to 100 bucks an hour as a contractor instead of you know, 25. And that's what the reality was of what I was making at that time. And so I made a choice to go all in on my business because it was such a different setup and a situation and a much better situation for me. Now, the next choice was Pilates. The word, the Pilates came into my life, the word Pilates, the, the movement, the exercise, everything. 
And I made a choice to go work at a place that was only six miles away in LA, but it was six rough miles on the 405. Woo. It was rough. And I went in at six in the morning and it still took me an hour to get there. And I left at two in the afternoon and it took over an hour to get home. Six miles each way. And it was ridiculous. And I did that for eight months because that was how long my uh, Pilates training was. So I made a choice and I had consequences of that, that commute. I had consequences of waking up and, and like being, being on the road at five in the morning. I, I, I don't go to bed till like one a lot of times. So it was rough. The consequences of that was rough. The choices I made have led to many great things. All of this has led to many great things. Um, but Pilates was a, a choice I made. People ridiculed me about it. They thought I was silly. What the heck are you doing? You're a big dude. Why are you doing Pilates? Well, it wasn't about me. It was about my, my, the people that I could serve and help. That's a different story as well. So then I made a choice to travel again because the company that I was working for uh, started having some troubles and we were at a place where the market had re rebounded enough and I traveled and took a job to Sono Sonoma and I found a job where they let me bring my Pilates reformer so I could use the equipment that I was using with my patients and so it was working somewhere else in a different place for a short-term contract but it was still doing what I wanted to do and, and I felt like on enough of my terms that I that I was willing to do it so those were my choices and then the choices were, were, were to move to Texas and when we got to Texas, it was like, are we gonna work for someone else? Are we gonna do our own business? Are we gonna do a contract business like what we were doing in LA, working for other people through our contract business? And we decided to go all in and with our brick and mortar. And by doing that, we had some consequences. We gave up things that like, as a, as a young couple who had just moved to a town like Austin, Texas, we gave up a lot of social things. We gave up a lot of things because we were building a business. We also started having kids and we were raising a family. But we didn't have time to do a lot of things that we needed to do because our choices were tied into building our business and growing our business. So each one of those choices I mentioned along the way, there were, there were consequences. There were severe consequences in some situations, but the consequences did not outweigh the benefits. And the choices have led me on a path that now got me to a place where I love Austin, I love having a business, we've had it for almost 15 years. Now, the next big choice was the toughest one. I chose to step away from insurance. I chose to stop taking insurance and having that steady flow of patients that, hey, do you take my insurance? Why, yes, I do. They came in, it was easy. I helped them, they told their friends. Um, once I stepped away from insurance, that was a choice that I had no idea what the consequences were gonna be, but I knew there were gonna be some. And I certainly lost some patients. Um, I had some people tell me I was selfish. I had some people tell me that it would never work. Um, friends, family, patients, everything. And I realized that the consequences had nothing to do with what people were telling me. It had to do with what was gonna happen with my business. But the choices of going cash was so beneficial because after I figured it out and after I learned how to do it, learned how to communicate with the patients, excuse me, learned how to create value first before asking for money. Um, when I learned all that, figured all that out and I learned how to do that, then all of the choices that I had made along the way were now like, aha, I've survived all this. So after being a PT for 15, 16 years, I was at a place where I was happy to be a PT again. Whereas those previous eight years, I was pretty miserable. I was ready to get out of the field. I was ready to leave the field because of the stress, the burnout, the things that everybody talks about in our field, because I was just trying to keep up, trying to survive. Well, now I'm at a place because of all those choices and because of dealing with the consequences. And again, some were good and some were bad. Uh, dealing with those consequences along the way, I'm now at a place where it doesn't matter about Medicare cut, cuts. It doesn't matter about percentages all uh, that they're going to pay less in, to PTs in, in 2020 or, or whatever the scare tactic is that's out there. Like None of that matters to me now because I've set myself up by making the right choices or making hard choices to, to get to a point to where now I can serve my client and none of that matters. None of that matters at all. So that's my message today, man. Greg was great this morning. He really got me pumped up. Uh, he played this old song from when I was young in high school. You can get with this or you can get with that. And it was so, it was so nostalgic. It brought back so many memories of those, that, those, that time in my life. So with that said, thanks, Greg, for uh, inspiring me to, to talk about choices. Uh, this is a complete uh, winging it live based on something I just watched, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, put them below, and uh, I'll talk to you all later.
Have a great day.